I, I think the problem is, is most the bishops, if you scratch underneath the surface, would say verbatim what Bishop Barron says publicly on YouTube. Jesus is the privileged way, and we hope that all will be saved. If you're in, in sales for a mega corporation, and you tell your sales team, look, no matter how crummy of a job you do in sales, you're always going to make your quota. Yeah. Just hope for it, and it's going to happen. Yeah. Your sales team's not going to do a very good job, right? And the yeah. bishops have all been taught since seminary from the 70s and 80s, hey, yeah. you know what? You're, you're Hindu, you're atheist, you're Buddhist, yeah. you're Muslim, you're Protestant, and you're bad Catholic who doesn't believe half the deposit of faith <laughs> and doesn't live in according to the teaching. They're all going to make it. Yeah. So if he so if someone calls you on a Monday and says I need to go to confession, it's no big deal. Yeah. He's fine. Right. But if you don't believe that and you believe that there every single person will have a particular judgment. Yes. And they must be in a state of grace to be lifted up into the beatific vision. Yeah. And not only that, there's purgatory often for most of us between that reality. Yeah. And we need penance and we need discipline. And we need charity. If all that's true, well, suddenly the Catholic faith looks like it did 70, 80, 90, 100 years ago. Back when priests actually, actually cared. Yeah, they believed. They came to church. Yep. And they believed in the real presence. That's right. All this watering down to the faith has watered down all the belief. And to the point where, I mean, it is few. Like Benedict said, it's going to be very small. Yep. If you tell your 17-year-old son, Hey, all the Buddhists are going to make it. Muslims are going to make it. But I want you to get confirmed and go to confession. Why would he do that? Right. Exactly. <laughs> Buddhists are making it without baptism. At least he's he's thinking, well, I got baptism, my first communion. Yeah. I just, I'm kind of yeah. checked two boxes. I'm going to go live my own life right. now. Yes. Yes. I know that's exactly what and they've done. We they've wonder why they don't come. license to sin. Yes. Without repercussion. Right. Which is James Martin. Yeah. Which James Martin, but you know uh, that shepherd of the church you mentioned out in L.A. that said, uh, "How do you put it? Jesus is a privilege way." Yeah, Baron. That is heresy. It is. That heresy. is ranked heresy. You should get excommunicated for that until you repent of it, recant of it, and repair what the damage that you have done. Yeah. You know, he was in that interview with James with uh, Ben Shapiro, who I happen to like. So he said to he said to that that well, it was Bishop Barron. We all know this. He said to him, "Well, what do you think? I'm trying to, you know, what is it?" I follow the Ten Commandments. I follow these other 603 right. rules. Are you telling me, Bishop Aaron, that essentially because I, I don't believe in Jesus, I'm screwed? Yeah, that's exactly that's what he said. He came up with that line. Oh, no, Jesus is just a privilege way. Yeah. Listen, he should have then turned the question back on Ben Shapiro. He should have just said, well, Ben, you follow those 10 rules. You follow those other 603 right. rules assiduously. Yeah. Are you telling me that as a Catholic who doesn't follow those other 603 rules that I'm screwed? Right. Yeah, let's. Ben Shapiro's a smart guy. He can play tennis. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Or just say, well, you're you're trying to keep the 613 rules. What's your batting average? How you doing? What's yeah, your score right. with yeah. God? Yeah. Yes. I mean, this could be a really fun conversation instead of demoting Jesus, demoting yeah. the King of Kings As to a privileged way. Up. He demoted him. Brilliant way to put it. But it if you believe way. that. People aren't going to come back to church. They talk about, oh, Bishop Barron does all this evangelization, all that. But yeah, but if you're telling people what he told Shapiro, you're not really evangelizing. That's not the good news is not that Jesus is the privileged way. That was never the good news. No. That's not the gospel. The gospel is Jesus Christ is the only way. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Hey. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. Close the book. Yep. That's it. 